Hello everyone. Welcome to Engineering Drawing Tutorial. I am V. Rakesh, Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering Kids Warangal. In this video lecture, we will discussing one problem on orthography projections. I have taken this problem from Engineering Drawing by N.D. But textbook. Exercise 20, figure number 20.38. Draw three views of this object by first angle projection method. This is the given problem. Here, x means the observer. Uh, this is the front view direction. Here, the three views means one is the front view, second one top view, third one is side view. For easy understanding, let us see the 3D visualization. This is the pictorial representation of the given figure. For this case, we need to draw the 2D figure of front view, top view and side view. Uh, look, at, look at this. This is the for front view. The observer can see from this side. The projectors are falls on uh, vertical plane. Here, these projectors are perpendicular to the, that corresponding plane, that means vertical plane. Now, we need to join these points in the sequence manner. We can get uh, uh, front view on the vertical plane. For getting top view, we can see from the top side, from these projectors are falls on horizontal plane. We can get top view for the given 3D figure. For side view, here uh, two different uh, side views are there. One is right side view, another one is left side view. For the given problem, we are having a left side view. Why we are calling a left side view? This side view is left side of front view. So that's why this side view is called as a left side view. These projectors are falls on right side of profile plane. Here the profile plane means the plane is perpendicular to front horizontal plane and vertical plane. Here thus we get side view on the right side of front view. This is the front view. We can get side view that is right side of front view. Uh, you can also see the uh, 2D visualization. This is the XY line. Already we know we can get uh, front view that is uh, above the XY line. Top view is uh, uh, below the XY line. For getting side view, we need to take one more new reference plane that is uh, X1, Y1. This is the front view. When you see from top side, we can get top view that is below XY. For getting a side view, here the side view is left to side view. These proje projectors are falls on right side of front view. So you can draw the side view uh, that is uh, to the right side of front view. This is the side view for the given pictorial, pictorial view. Let us see how to construct, how to draw this front view, top view, side view on the drawing sheet. Let us see. This is the given figure. Here uh, arrow symbol indicates front view and exit the observer. First, we need to draw the uh, two axes. XY reference line, another one is uh, x1, y1 reference line. Here, this, these two reference lines are perpendicular to each other. First, we need to identify the three positions. That is front view position, top view position and side view position. The next step is, just we need to note down the uh, total length, total width and total height for the given pictorial figure. Here, the total length. Length is 62 mm, next width is 50 mm, total height is 42 mm. 
these three dimensions are directly given in the figure in some figures we need to uh, measure or calculate total length width height for the other figures but specially for this figure he has given directly that is length is 62 mm width is 50 mm and height is 42 mm next uh, identify the position that is front view in this space top view in this space and uh, side view in this space because here the for this problem he has given left side view that is right side of front view after uh, completion of this uh, this step next we need to construct uh, three rectangle boxes one is front view rectangle box next second one top view rectangle box third one is side view rectangle box here front view for constructing front view rectangle box let us see the dimensions length is for front view length and height length is 62 mm height is 42 mm with the help of these two dimensions we need to construct one rectangle box in the front view position Uh, you can uh, leave so, some space. You can take a uh, 10 mm from x1 y1 and uh, 10 mm from x y. Otherwise, you can take uh, uh, some sufficient distance from x1 y1 and x y. Leave sufficient distance from x y line and x1 y1 line for constructing front view rectangle box. Length is. 62 mm height is 42 mm next construct top view rectangle box here the top view rectangle box is length is common length in length into width length is 62 mm width is 50 mm by using this two dimension we need to construct two top view rectangle box just you can draw the projectors from front view here length is same width is 50 mm Uh, this is the top view rectangle box next uh, draw the side view rectangle box for constructing side view rectangle box here the side view dimensions are 50 and 42 no need to take dimensions uh, we are we are having one procedure is there first we need to draw the uh, 45 degrees line at intersection of xy and x1 y1 from this point draw the 45 degrees line now draw the projectors from horizontal projectors from top view to 45 degrees line next draw the vertical projectors from that point similarly draw the horizontal projectors from this front view uh, now we can get rectangle box for side view this is the re rectangle box for side view this This is the width and this is the height. Width is 50 mm and height is 42 mm. You need to construct front view features, front view visible or invisible portions only in this front view rectangle box. Similarly, you you can fit top view features or top view edges or top view hidden portions in this top view rectangle box. Similarly, like you need to fit or construct or draw. uh side view features in this side view rectangle box <coughs> now give the dimension this is the full length is 62 width is uh, 42 next uh, uh, this is the length 62 this is the height 42 this is the width 50 mm now uh, you can construct front view features in the front view rectangle box you can see here when you seeing from front view this bottom portion bottom rectangle portion is appear whenever it is cutting portion is there this is appear like only single rectangle box but uh, three edges are there this length is 62 mm this height is 16 mm construct this rectangle box when you seeing from this side actually uh, this portion have one v shape cutting portion is there 
from left to 22 mm as a 22 mm draw the one vertical line similarly from right side at the point of 22 mm draw one vertical line this is the V cutting portion so at the midpoint of uh, this portion draw the one vertical line next when you see from this front view this slant edge is uh, also appear like one reduced rectangle at uh, both ends from this point draw the vertical line this width is 9 mm similar like at the at the ends at the end this width is 9 mm these two rectangle boxes are appear in the front view that is uh, this slant edge uh, reduced to this rectangle box when you are seeing from this front view this V shape cutting portion is also appear in the front view uh, just you can measure the distance from this point to this one this is 16 mm uh, this is the uh, this object symmetric symmetrical object so I have marked at the midpoint midline just you need to draw one center line that is from left to uh, left to right or right to left that is 22 mm from this point to this point 22 mm just draw the one vertical line uh, this edge is 16 mm from this point to draw one horizontal line up to 16 mm similar to the right side from this end point to this edge length is 16 mm uh, here this vertical line length is from top 15 mm draw the 15 mm line just you can join these two end points <coughs> this is the uh, this shape is appear in the front view for uh, constructing top view from each and every edge or corner point draw the uh, vertical projectors to top view from this point uh, this edge these three edges draw the all possible projectors from front view <coughs> when you are seeing from top side uh, this portion is appear in the top view this is appear like one rectangle box even though uh, this cutting portion is there this is appear like one rectangle box this total width, width length is 62 and uh, this width is uh, 20 mm that means this one 20 mm draw the rectangle box when you see from this side when you see from this side <coughs> uh, <coughs> here three points are this first point second point third point these three edges are appear in the top view one two three uh, this means it is a cutting portion this representation means it is a v-shape cutting portion when you see from top side this slant surface is also appear in the top view that is reduced rectangle boxes at the end draw the vertical line this width is 9 mm 9 mm from both sides when you see from top side this V cutting portion is also appear in the top view here draw the edges up to 22 mm from left to right and right to left 22 mm at the middle one B cutting portion is there this length is 9 mm from this point to this point is 9 mm this length this length is 9 mm join these endpoints and these two endpoints uh, this shape is appear in the top view coming to the side view uh, draw the projectors from top view to side view from this edge and this edge to the vertical projectors similarly from front view uh, this edge and this edge when you see from side view this surface is appear in the side view just you need to draw the same shape in the left side view 
वन इज दिस एज इज अपियर दिस विथ इज सिक्सटीन एम एम नेक्स्ट दिस हाइट इज सिक्स एम एम नेक्स्ट दिस विथ इज रिमेनिंग सिक्सटी माइनस फिफ्टी माइनस थर्टी टू नेक्स्ट दिस विथ हाइट इज सिक्स एम एम द लास्ट वन इज सिक्सटीन एम एम नेक्स्ट दिस हाइट इज सिक्सटीन एम एम Let us see. Uh, you can look at here. Uh, at the top, the width is 20 mm from this point to 20 mm width. Next, join these two endpoints. When you are seeing from left to side, uh, when you are seeing from top side, when you are seeing from top view, bottom bottom portion having one cutting portion is there. this shape is not appear just you can see see this cutting portion only in side view after completion of the side view from these two edges draw the projectors to top view these two edges are invisible in the top view this edge and this edge you can represent with a dashed line This is the one dashed line, and this is also one dashed line. These two lines are invisible in the top view. Just you can see these two edges only in side view. Next, when you are uh, in the front view also, uh, these edges invisible. So these edges invisible. You can represent with dashed line. Just you can draw the projector from side view to front view. this edge written with dash line uh, in the side view uh, in the middle there is no material so you can represent with the dash line this is the dash line vertical dash line and horizontal dash line this triangle portion is invisible and there is no material so you can represent with dash line For this triangle shape. Similarly, when you see from side view, this uh, V cutting portion, top side and bottom V cutting portion is invisible. There is no material, so you can represent with the dashed line at the top. Just from draw the projector from this front view. This portion is. here there is no material so you can represent with a dash line and also this point is this uh, v shape edge is uh, invisible in the side view so you can represent with a dash line similarly at the bottom this v cutting portion is invisible uh, in the side view so you can represent with a dash line this is also dash line now give the possible dimensions This width is eighteen uh, mm, eighteen thirty uh, mm. Next, give all possible dimensions at the outside of the front view, top view, and side view. This is the sixteen mm. You can see here. This is the sixteen mm. Uh, this is twenty two mm, and uh, this is also twenty two mm. Uh, middle is eighteen mm. In the side view, this width is 20 mm. Uh, this in the side view, this height is 16 mm. Just you, you can give the possible dimensions only outside for the front view, top view, and side view. No need to repeat the same dimension. For example, this is the 40 mm. No need to give the 40 mm this side. For example, uh, this dimension is 30. No need to give the dimension for top view. Just you can give the dimension only one one time. Uh, this is the final solution for the given problem. Draw the three views. That means front view, top view, and side view for the pictorial figure or given isometry figure or given. casting figure i hope uh, this problem is very clear to you one
Thank you for watching. Please do like and subscribe my channel for more updates and also share to your near and dear friends.